What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Scary Larry from Roblox Break-In 2. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of the page of the top edge of the mask. We're gonna start all the way over on the left side. Let's add a curve coming down and we'll bend that up towards the right. Now from the ends, we're gonna curve the mask coming down and up in the middle. So let's start with the left side. Come down, round up the mask, just pull that up in the middle, come down towards the right and then bend that up towards the top. Let's trace the eyes along the inside. Leave a gap in the center. Let's step over towards the left, bend this out, and then up, just following the top curve of the mask. And do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left side, curve the bottom, coming down. Just gonna bend that up on the inside, and we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's pull the pupils towards the inside. So on the left, Curl this around and in, and we'll fill both of the pupils in black. Now we're going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Starting on the left, come down, and then up. Go back to the left side, curve the mouth coming down, and then up. And then we'll fill the inside of the mouth in black. Let's add in the beard. In between the mask and the mouth, we're gonna add a curve, coming down and then up. And just round up the top, going around and then down on either side. Now on the left side, we're gonna curve the beard, coming all the way around, in, and then curl that up on the left. Let's go over towards the right side, come all the way around, down towards the bottom, and just bend it up towards the tip. Now we're going to move up to the side and draw the side of the head. From the top corners of the mask, we're going to step out, draw a straight line coming down towards the chin. Do the same thing on the right. Let's round out the bottom corner and just bend that in behind the beard. Now I want to layer the hat on top of the head with a bend going up towards the right. So on the left side, let's step out, come in across the top of the head, Bend that up towards the right. Go all the way across. I'm just gonna wrap this around and then in towards the side of the head on the right side. Now I'm gonna tuck the head in behind the hat. I'm gonna go up and then bend that back in. Let's go over towards the left side, bend the hat coming down and in. Let's add a trim around the outside of the hat. From this point, we're gonna step out Trace the bottom coming down and then in. And I want to do the same thing on the right. Going all the way around and bend that up towards the side. Now I want to curve the hat brim coming back up, just lining up the side of the head. Let's start on the left side, just going to round this out, come in and then bend that up. Do the same thing on the right. Coming in and then bending that. Let's close off the top of the curve. We're gonna go up and then down towards the right. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a large half circle. Let's start on the left. We're gonna go up towards the top of the hat, round this out, and then come down. Let's add that trim. We're gonna step up on the left, just follow that same curve going all the way across. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We start on the left side, just beside the beard, bend this out and then down towards the hip. Line this up on the right, going out and then down. Now we curve the bottom of the jacket coming down and then up leaving a gap in the center. So let's start on the left, come down and then bend that up underneath the beard and do the same thing on the right side. Now in between the jacket, let's add a curve coming down and up. Step up and draw it again. Let's add two lines coming down the side of the buckle. And we'll trace the buckle along the inside. From the buckle, we're gonna step down and add a curve, going up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg going out and down toward the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. 
Now you want to round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, bend the foot, coming down and then up towards the outside. And then on the outside, curve the foot and go up towards the top, bend it down on the inside. Just curl that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now going back up to the jacket, we're gonna step in and curve the outside of the leg. Let's start on the left. Stepping in, then it's out, and then down on top of the feet. And we'll add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We'll take the same curve, step up, and just trace that across. Let's go up and draw on the arms. We're gonna start with the sleeves of the shirt, starting halfway down the side of the body. So right here, bend the sleeve, going out, and then up. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. From the outside, angle this up and tuck this in underneath the head. Now we're gonna bring the arms coming down the side, but on the left, we're gonna have them holding the crowbar. Let's start from the inside of the body, curve this out and then down towards the wrist. Now from here, we're gonna draw the thumb, bend this around and then down. Let's add a half circle along the end. Let's add three fingers going around the crowbar, coming down, around, and in. On the side, let's tuck in the second finger, going around and in. And then the third finger going all the way around and then in towards the wrist. Let's draw that same curve from the outside going up underneath the sleeve. And then we're going to connect the wrist with a curve, coming down and then in. Step up and draw that twice. Now you want to place the crowbar in behind the hand. Let's start from this point, curve this around, and then back out. Let's add two points, going down and then up. Now you want to trace that same curve, going all the way around the inside, and then up toward the top point. Now the crowbar is going to go in behind the hand, so let's start on the side. We're just going to bend this out and then up, flatten off the end. And then again, just follow that same curve coming in towards the hand. Now let's draw on the right arm. Starting up here, bend this out and down. Just gonna line this up with the left side. Add a half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Let's add three fingers. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, come around and then up. On the side, add the second finger. And then the third finger coming up and then in towards the wrist. Let's add that same curve going up and in underneath the sleeve. And then we'll add those two curves going across the wrist. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Scary Larry from Roblox Break In 2. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.